friends and family, it's Earthman Eric from PlotPalmTrees.com. We're live here in the beautiful city of Belize City, the country of Belize. And uh, it's just one of the most incredible finds that we found yet at uh, PlotPalmTrees.com in Tropical Missouri is the, the beautiful little uh, jewel in the ocean here. Uh, it's in Central America and uh, I'll be working on a movie called a live uh, in Belize movie or a living in Belize movie or a uh, living, a living in Belize, a live in Belize or a, a live in Belize. Three different ways you could say it. Movie and uh, it'll be a purpose driven life study going in the background. So it's a purpose driven life. This is a coconut palm tree here. We actually do sell this tree. It's the uh, tree of life on our website because it's also referred to that. But it's the coco, coco nurus, nurus, and uh, it has some coconuts. I got footage of me actually climbing up on a coconut. Let me get closer. Uh, I have a, I have footage of somewhere in Belize, some placentia. Climbing up on one of these suckers, and uh, you know they're usually very abundant with coconuts. There's one there. See that? I kind of have a cold from uh, the trip to the Mayan ruins in uh, Mayan ruins. I don't know how to pronounce that area right now. <coughs> yeah, I look back on it. We visit so many places like Hopkins Island and Barefoot. Um, Grove, a couple of places in Placentia, and uh, Belize City, obviously. It's just so gorgeous here. Um, it's very, very much so a paradise oasis. Here's a bottle pump here. See that? Really nice. These don't grow in Missouri. Smooth uh, trunk here, and then it kind of goes to a really rippled trunk there towards the bottom. That nice? Really, yeah. Uh, Neat spread. Kind of, it's got an arch to it. I did bring two coconut palm trees home because these things will literally just uh, they'll fall on the ground, and then you can pick them up, and you know they'll they'll go in ground quite well. Hello, how are you? Good morning. See that? Gorgeous. They do have pretty good security here in Belize. Uh, it's affordable. I've, uh, it's every for every one of our dollars equals two of theirs. So we our currency's worth a little bit more, or they just raise the prices. So pretty much, say this coconut was uh, six dollars, we could give them three dollars American cash USD, and uh, be fine that way. And they primarily speak English here. Second language, secondary language is uh, Spanish. So it's real. That was that's been really pleasant uh, uh, as an option. It makes it really easy living here because you can communicate. They're taught uh, English uh, through elementary school and before and up. So it's really uh, neat. tired of seeing any palm trees like that and then this is the Caribbean Sea so, so yeah you can go back to, through, uh, to Florida Keys through this there's some boats there and uh, watch our movie which will be coming out they uh, we were on a trip to the Mayan ruins with it and uh, that was really nice it was a nice uh, trip because you had to go on a boat ride and that's Probably where I got sick because uh, it was really hot out. That's why I got this little suntan. And uh, then it went, we went inside, you know, and, and all that AC. So it was quite a change so quickly. And I just, I should have probably just hung out outside for a while and adapted. But I ran back inside, took a shower and stuff. So, yep, that was my mistake. 
<laughs> this is our last day here of Belize City. Belize. Here we're going, heading into the uh, beautiful pool. And it stays pretty uh, much at this, this weather. This is um, November 22nd or 20. First, 2012. So it is about 80 degrees. I've had my shirt, uh, you know, with a tank top, or on most days. It was a day. It was rainy a couple days ago, but it wasn't bad. It was just kind of a chill. And uh, so there are zone nine, I believe. Don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure because they're very warm. It doesn't get very cold December so they never have snow there's our journey or traveler palm incredible I'll take you through here but mainly just wanted to talk about the coconut palm you can click below and watch <gasps> experiencing the tree of life video our uh, room is over there somewhere so Pretty cool. Got these little huts here. And I'm sure in the summer it's jamming here. They uh, the first couple of the first couple of uh, days that we were here, actually, it was it was their one of their holidays that's very similar to our I guess Thanksgiving, and uh, it was really loud. It was so cool. It was like 24/7. Annoying, but it was really cool drumming music, and uh, you know, I played piano when I first got here, and uh, a few of the guys <laughs> were saying they would like me to come out, you know, and uh, jam with them on the piano, I guess, with them playing drums, or play drums with them, and you play drums or whatever, or guitar would be neat, you know, play whatever they're playing, so it's really. Really, really neat, down-to-earth people, kind, very sweet people. Um, most all of them is very diverse too. The uh, Chinese, uh, Americans, Canadians. I, I've talked to a couple people from France. <clears throat> a few of them. Uh, I ran into about 10, 10 Russian girls the other day. That was really, really cool. And uh, some French girls too. So. I'm having a great time up here. I'm actually down here, so uh, it's been a blast. And just getting to know the different cultures as well. I'm very observant, so I like to observe different culture backgrounds and stuff like that. Uh, it's been really just a neat, neat ride. to make a trip sometime. Their economy is growing and uh, it's really having a promising effect on uh, Belizeans and tourists. A lot of people say vacation here and don't move here but you can find areas that are worth living here as well that are just fantastic and uh, affordable as well. You can buy land, and since it's a sovereign country, you can build your house on it, build a building on it. You can uh, <coughs> you can do whatever you like. You don't even need a building permit, I don't, I don't think. So you can just uh, buy a piece of land, build on it how you like, and uh, it's just one of those really neat things about Belize. I'll see y'all later. Uh, continue watching my collection as I probably have some more videos on Belize and uh, more updates on the movie. I know I'm gonna, it's going to take me about a year or so to put the whole movie and compile it all together. I want to make it a really neat uh, adventure, message, and uh, you know, just uh, kind of like a book. You can come along and you can you can actually learn more about Belize bit by bit. How you 
how much it will cost to come here from the ticket with a you know family of three or individually kind of give you an idea of price perspective and uh, you know maybe have some uh, how, how you can live off eating because you know I'm a vegan so showing you how you can live on a vegan diet or uh, here and everything's organically grown so there's no chemicals no f fertilizers to poison the food and uh, like uh, you know in other in America we use a lot of chemicals and stuff like that and there's a lot of chemicals in the water uh, there's none in here unless you got the purified water you gotta watch out it says fluoride in it so that's the only that's the only thing I found with fluoride so far there actual water system has no fluoride so very 10 10 plus bonus points there uh, for me to Belize so I I'm ready to move here I, I, I fell in love with it already so all right let's go check out some more palm trees.